Welcome Aquarius Pisces to your April Astro Dice reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please hit that big old like button and subscribe. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Let's see, using only one of the 12 houses. Best house coming up, please, spirit. Best message, best house. Got the third house coming up with some Taurus energy in the moon. Ooh, the mysterious, mysterious moon of emotions. So with that moon, it's your unconscious, sensitive inner emotions and responses. What is going on? Things that could be hidden, things that are secret. Using that intuition. Going over here with some Taurian energy. Slow, relaxed, steady, and moving. The energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It's rich, earthly, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. And going straight into that third house. Third house is your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. I would say and or your lo local neighborhood, which is within your community, right? And your community could also be your friends, your family. It could be a right, a, you know, a big range of things, right? So not just the neighborhood that you live in, right? Not just the neighbors. <laughs> Going straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Show us what is going on in the beginning of the month, please. Mm -hmm. Queen of Forces, she knows, right, how to balance everything. She's got her emotions under control. So even though you might be feeling a little sensitive at the very beginning of the month, it's saying it's okay, though, because I know how to respond to both sides equally. I have this beautiful equal give and take when it comes to these emotions, whether I'm feeling very, you know what, sparked out and I want to be in the light and I want to have the spotlight versus, you know what, I'm feeling like, you know what, I could be over here, kind of hide out a little bit and everything's fine because my emotions are exactly where they need to be. Definitely underneath the Taurus, you have the clearing the way. Okay, and you have the Akashic field coming out. Ooh, under what you have learned. So with the Queen of Forces over here, it, you know, it's like, okay, caustic field. Coming into a phase of great power and ability to sustain wonderful results within the situation after clearing what it is. So pretty much in the beginning of the month, what you're really figuring out within this situation is how you're going to clear the way for this, right? For this, uh, <clears throat> for this month. <laughs> You could bring in new rules and new opportunities within the Akashic field, though, too, is also a great one because it's, once again, also showing that power, showing that there is something and some kind of opportunity, telling you the amazing opportunities are abound. So you're really learning that, you know what, where all the obstacles and challenges have been, I'm going to have this increase, right, of things opening up, things that, you know, are going to work for me, so anything that felt like it was troubling is now going to start uh, dissipating. Okay. Clarifying on the Queen of Forces for the beginning of the month, please. Bring that power within. I mean, look, you're learning to balance those emotions um, for this situation. So manifesting reflection. There it is once again. I mean, you got the moon anyways. It's a, the moon's all about reflection. So it's talking about this opening up financial opportunities period where you can prosper financially could also be noticed by other people mm. yes and the clearing the way over here is that sudden awareness of that tower yeah so it's like you know, I had the tower moment I had the great awakening I'm suddenly understanding things are speeding up within this process I'm having yeah I'm understanding this sudden awareness again with the Akashic field, checking in for realignment, but that's that realignment also with that, that queen of forces, aligning yourself, withdrawing from things that no longer 
serve you saying you know what I've had a tower moment on this side and that's okay I'm gonna clear away all those things because you know what? I'm not gonna miss any kind of opportunity I see the opportunities are coming so you're gonna see a lot of things coming and being aware that you know what I feel like the retreat is like yeah those opportunities some of those opportunities were taken away but they weren't good for me anyway so I'm not really going to feel like I really missed those opportunities so for instance, for some of you, it does feel like maybe there was a job opening or something and you didn't get that job opening and you might have felt like maybe, you know, I didn't do something right or I didn't make it on time or I replied too late or I screwed that up somehow. But Spirit is saying, no, it wasn't that. It was actually I cleared that away because you have something much better coming for you. Um, so on the contrary, this is the great chance now that you can have this sudden awareness to have to say, you know what, no, this isn't the, you know, this isn't just chaos and upheaval. There's actually something better coming my way. So this is where you're actually going to have this learning that, wow, this new opening for this new job is going to be way better. It pays more, has better hours, closer to work, something, something's going on. Um, whatever that situation is, if it's not work, you know what it is, right? Maybe it was a love, right? Whatever it is in your community uh karmic trench to balance uh, mid-month what do we got here i mean out with community so we're definitely talking about op opportunities more than likely within the community of work financially not wanting to dig that karmic trench it's, it's to the point where it's like you know what? i'm just going to tell myself just remember my friends always say you know what like <laughs> Don't do the same thing twice because it's not going to have a different outcome. I can do it again and again and again and look and expect for a different outcome, but that's not the way it's going to work. So it says you need to keep yourself balanced at this time because everything's going to be slow and productive. So during this period, you're going to, you know, notice your surroundings and people, you know, around you because of the community. Karmic trench. Yeah, doing the same thing from the past. Do not do the same thing from the past, my friends. It will stick to you like glue and it's not trustworthy. Um, the balance is actually the king of pentacles, which is Taurus. Again, you guys could de definitely be dealing with a Taurus. Um, and having preparation and progress with three of the three of wands. Yeah, because it is. It's like, don't go back to trying to do something that you felt was, oh, well, you know what? That worked before, but it didn't work. Uh, but it can work now. No, that's not the time to do anything like that. Stay away from things that are no longer serving you because all that does is just make you do the same thing over and over and look for a different outcome. King of Pentacles says this is where you're going to become very disciplined in finding this enterprise and having this activity. There's going to be a lot of forward movement for you, um, right? So at this time, just remember, right, that... Mm, right? Be careful not to be too trusting about situations. Ooh, that's that trench, right? Just keep moving forward when you're looking for this. Take on your own authority. Be careful not to speed up the process too much. You want to be what? In Taurus energy. You want it just to be slow and let itself go and let it just do its thing, okay? So, okay, so that's, that's what's going on there. Do not allow your mind to get ahead of everything else. Okay, you're going to learn just to kind of go with the flow. Okay, because you're going to find a lot of activity. There's You're going to find a lot of open uh, situations, a lot of open doors as you're waiting for this ship to come in, as you're waiting for this opportunity and expansion. And it's just because you're so overly prepared. <laughs> you're like, I'm ready, right? But just take a breath. Relax. Okay, end of the month. Paths unknown. Yeah, absolutely. I can see that happening. Summer, winter. The Queen of Keys. Ooh, the Queen of Keys. Okay, so you could have the Queen of Keys coming towards you. This is a very, uh, this person could own their own business. This is a very wealthy woman. It could be a woman. doesn't have to be a woman. Um, but it definitely is a very self-made person. could also be a divorced person as well. A single or divorced or widowed woman. It's usually the same as the swords, Queen of Swords, who is a divorced, widowed, <clears throat> divorced or widowed uh, person okay so i would say that around the end of the month right you're going to catch this kind of second breath and return to this kind of usual routine that you've kind of seen during the winter time 
Um, for those of you who are in um, Australia, New Zealand, this would be your summertime. Okay, so, and you're going to kind of catch your breath over here, but you're kind of also looking around. Okay, um, this is definitely going to feel right. And it, it, the Queen of Keys could even be yourself. I mean, it, it you know, it doesn't have to be, and you don't have to be male or female. Okay, it's just a card. Okay, it's just showing. Okay, but it's pretty much just saying, keep up the good work. Okay, keep your eyes open. Because there are paths unknown that are coming towards you. And the more you keep realizing what is coming towards you, the more you're going to realize, whoa, this is more possible than I've ever thought was, right? Was before. Starting to see things come together. Known end of the month, please. Difficult decisions could be coming through, but that's also because, right? Because, like I said, right, it's becoming not as difficult as it was because now you're being able to see. There's a lot of acceptance, acceptance and things that were setbacks for you before. But wherever you had creative blocks, you no longer have those creative blocks because now you can see, you can use your mind. You have the sword to be able to discern what is coming towards you and what is not, right? You're going to have a lot of helpful people coming through as well, right, as you're planting seeds with the long-term views. Okay, so, <laughs> like that. Yep. Coming clean for the situation. And what do we got over here? The devil. Ooh, yeah. The devil pretty much to me is just don't be too trusting. Because I keep seeing that and I keep hearing that. Don't be too trusting. Because I see that from the, up here in the mid-month. Don't trust everything that you hear. Right? It, it, make sure that you're doing your homework when it comes to certain situations. You might be, you know, if it's a job situation, it could be a pyramid. It could be schemes. Something like that, right? What are they called? Posi schemes? I don't know. I don't know what that is. It could be scheming, <laughs> right? So just be careful, right, on who you're trusting and what it is because no matter what, using your intuition, you will see things coming together, okay? Because, yeah, you're going to be kind of in the spotlight over here because you are that queen of, no matter what, you're going to be in the spotlight because of the queen of forces. I already said that because you have the balancing the sun, the sun and the moon, so even though it will come up as a really good idea, is it really a good idea? Make sure to weigh your pros and cons with the swords over here. Don't let anybody tell you one thing when it's not right. Because no matter what, you're going to see that things are coming together. And you're going to learn a lot about different situations that are coming up this month that have to do, yes, with some things that are hidden in the moon. So you're going to be using that intuition, right? I like that. I'm liking that a lot. And let's see what else we have. Last card coming out is the star. Love that. Love that. Yeah, that's that having that innovative or innovative, um, having innovative opinions and options and char characterized by your rejuvenation, your healing, your faith, knowing where you're going, what you're going to do, being the star of the show. People are going to see that you are the star. You're rising up. You're going to have a lot of good communication. Look at that. Communication. I love that. Woo! A lot of information and communication coming up as people are seeing you in that spotlight. There it is. So even though you might feel a little confused and a little slow about the situation because of the Two of Swords, it doesn't matter in the end. You're building with that Seven of Pentacles, right? And the more you're building, the more you're putting things out there. You're not going to have any problems with communication, especially the end of the month. So, yeah, I do see some worry about the situation, but remember, you are building towards exactly what it is, and you'll be fully aware that everything that you're seeing is coming back together. It's just, what? It's slow. Right? It's just slow. Right? Okay. But the slow process is not going to last long, guys. Okay? It's just that period of time. It's just a period. It... It'll move. It'll move quicker as time goes on. I think really what it's doing is just trying to make you learn whatever the situation is. 
to open up and make sure that you're keeping everything balanced. It's just the way that everything's going, <laughs> right? Okay, until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.